So today I'm talking about a Kia with the P0449 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Kia P0449 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system, vent valve, solenoid, circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, modern cars have an EVAP system that helps contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank and they get sent back into the engine and get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer's seen a problem with this, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And the most common cause of a P0449 code is going to be the vent valve, charcoal canister, vent valve wiring or possibly a blowing fuse and it can be some other possible causes but usually when it's these things you have another code so if you are getting other codes you might want to look into some of these other things but if you are just getting a p0449 code more than likely it's going to be something to do with the vent valve and so the first thing to do when you get a p0449 code is to go find the vent valve on your particular kia and it'll be located up and underneath the car by the gas tank somewhere and it'll be by the charcoal canister or inside of the charcoal canister. And this charcoal canister is located up by the gas tank somewhere. And quite commonly, the vent valve is built into it. Sometimes it can't be separate, so it's not always built into it, but a lot of the times it is. For, for example, here's a 2005 Kia Sedona, and the vent valve is built into the back of the charcoal canister. So you have to take the charcoal canister out, and the vent valve will be right there. But the other Kias, it can't be located separately. So again, you're just going to have to get a diagram for your particular Kia or just go and look at it, see how it was built. But the first thing to do is to locate this vent valve. And once you locate it, the next thing to do is to check out all these connections. Be sure they're connected good. But mainly, come and check out this wiring. Be sure this wiring is plugged in good. This harness is all tight and these types of things. Because any open, short, anything like this is going to cause this issue. So you're going to want to check out this wiring really good. And be aware this will be on a fuse. And if that fuse blows, it could cause problems. So you want to check for any blowing fuses. Quite often it's inside the engine compartment, but it can't be located differently. So you have to Google that or look that up. But be sure there's no blowing fuses. And be sure to check out this wiring really good. And so if that all looks good, if the wiring all looks good, it's connected good, there's no open shorts or anything like this, no blowing fuses, then very likely this whole vent valve solenoid has just gone bad. And you can't go about testing it if you wanted to. There's some different ways you could do that. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, there's usually an option inside of there that'll enable it. And then you can listen to it and you can hear the valve click. And if the valve clicks, that usually means it's working. And But there's some other ways too. There's some YouTube videos on that if you wanted to look into that. Most people would just go and replace it. Since it's a low cost part, I'll jump over on Amazon to give you an idea how much it's costing right now. It's ranging around 55, 68, and there's one for 27. So they're not super high cost parts or anything. But at this point, if you tested all the wiring and that's all good, and there's no blowing fuses or nothing like that, then very likely there is a problem with the vent valve. So either test or just go ahead and replace it. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Kia with the P0449 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.